We're on a mission to save the planet and reverse climate change, but that requires a ton of effort and it costs a lot of money. So, so many organizations are turning to AI analytics and HPC cloud computing to help. I'm here with Connecticut, the San Francisco Estuary Institute, and the Danish Climate Ministry to talk about how they're using OCI to remove trash and other pollutants from the world's waterways. Join us in this conversation. If protecting the environment costs so much money and takes so much time, how can such efforts possibly be good for the economy? The fishing industry can be hugely affected by us not uh, taking uh, this matter into account. If you get people to kind of uh, use bins and it's a lot cheaper to mitigate the trash going into the ocean. So if we can start to get new ways of how to explore, to collect trash before it gets into the ocean, it's both good for the economy, it's both for good for the fish, but it's definitely also a lot cheaper uh, for, the, for the public institutions to, uh, to handle the trash in this way. What are then some of the techniques that, you know, SFEI and Danish Climate Ministry are using to protect the environment, you know, while obviously keeping the costs down. Uh, we've done with the help of Kinetica and Oracle to, uh, to capture imagery from drones um, and leverage that imagery to mine it, mine it for the data within it uh, as to how much trash is actually in the environment. So the project we have here is a City Shark, where we also use drone imagery to detect oil spills, but also trash, and have a water-based drone picking up uh, trash uh, and cleaning up the oil. You know, how does uh, you know machine learning analytics and HPC in the cloud, um, you know, really help SFEI and Danish Climate Ministry to achieve their emission goals? You know, while again limiting the amount of money they spend on equipment, human labor. Connecticut uniquely can handle the massive amounts of streaming data while simultaneously processing the advanced analytics such as machine learning and geospatial analysis and doing so on the Oracle Cloud Platform allows us to have that environment that um, gives them the elasticity at a good price point. The flexibility of Oracle also makes it possible for us to kind of see how uh, how will the cost be going forward? And, if you yeah. think about what they're doing in Orhos and um, this the idea of not only identifying, um, categorizing, but then remediation activities with the drone in the water, um, that takes not only massive amounts of input from the cameras and the processing to recognize what it is, but then all this stuff has to be done in real time. Um, and so I think you know the combination between Connecticut being able to actually handle the real-time processing and the Oracle infrastructure you know, actually makes that possible. By using drones and other instruments to gather imagery and then mine that imagery for how much trash there is out there, we're able to expand the geospatial range that we can cover. Because after all, trash is ephemeral. Sometimes it's here, other times it's there. And it moves around by wind, rain, and all these other things. So being able to cover more space is a great thing. Being able to go out more often is another great thing because then you can get a much denser image of how much trash that there really is and how variable it is over time. But another key proposition for us uh, in the engagement with Connecticut and Oracle is that by having the, the additional resources, the GPUs, the uh, bandwidth, the storage, and all of those resources that, that, that the cloud environment provided to us, we could focus more on the key research questions we were seeking to answer rather than the mechanics of all of those different technological features.